go away to the world. It's a shame. You on it all. Easy, you on it all. Easy, you on love. So you on it Right here, you wait. You need the world to fool. You say that the patterns talk to you. Sometimes. Circumstances so plain Sometimes No words to say I am exhausted this whole week has been a blur and uh, can't sleep. Yeah, well, we're all in shock. Thanks for coming out. It's been no fun dealing with this on my own. No one's dealing with it on their own, Aaron. Anyway, I'm gonna go uh, chill, so if you need anything, I'm in the studio above the garage, okay? Oh, you finished it? Yeah. Right. Alright. Good night. Good night. Hey, May, I'm here. I can't remember this song. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it is. Bring your love home to me. <laughs> I can't remember this song. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it is. This is my least favorite song. A little tired. Gonna be hitting the hitting the hay soon, so. Um, good night. It's cold, and, uh, you've already okay. got someone. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> I can't remember this song. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it is. It goes, you broke my heart. Oh, I can't Here she is, 
Would you like a moment alone with her before we speak? Not right now. So my mother, she didn't want a service. She just wanted uh, an announcement in the paper. Maureen made all of her own arrangements a very long time ago. She was very specific. She wants to be placed on the table in front of the picture window until such time as the house is sold or rented. And then you may scatter her ashes underneath the book and view you. The bushes? The thorn-like tree bush with fuchsia petals. Got it. Her ashes are divided into half, half in this box, and half into the urn she made in ceramics class. In the box, we've divided that again. One half of one half to you, the other half of that half to your sister Catherine, and with the remaining half of that half, we'll put aside for future generations. I remember from my father, we, we did eighths. I hate to bring this up. What would you like to do with Catherine's remains? Shortly after your brother identified her, we took possession of her body. He did that? It's required. Where is she now? She's in our cold room. I see, so, so I don't know what we want to do now, yet. I'll make, make sure, sure that you have a, a brochure on your way out. I think I'll have that moment now. Please do. We need to make decisions. What are we gonna do with Katie's body? She hated chemicals, so, you know, everything had to be organic. So, cremation? Is that without chemicals? I don't know, maybe some kind of accelerant? Well, can it be accelerant free? They could probably do that, yeah. Okay. I guess. Cremation. Well, you can't guess, Aaron. I mean, <laughs> once we do it, it's... They had this system that they did with my father. They divided his ashes in half, and then the halves in quarters, so eighths. So they gave one to my sister, one to me, and, and two to my mother. With my mother, they divided her in half, and one of the halves in half. So Katie and I each got a quarter. I guess they're all mine now. Unless you want an eighth. No, thank you, I'm fine. All right, so let's, let's talk about the boards. Okay, uh, savings, any savings, life insurance? I think that she had a policy through her work, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I, I need you to refresh your memory. What, what about college? They're five. Twelve, Twelve years goes quick. It, it wasn't a priority, Chris. Why? Because mother was going to pay? Well, you know, Katie said she offered. Did, did you at least start a 529? What's that? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a, sa it's a savings for college. Okay. Well, I don't know what it is. Yeah, obviously, okay. I didn't start one. Yeah, obviously. Listen, Aaron. I know you were not the primary breadwinner. You may need to move. Move? Move. I just put my studio in there. You mean the man cave you, you, you made for yourself out of the pool house? That's yes. your studio? I Aaron. got so much shit from them about that, okay? Keep your voice down, Aaron. 
Things have changed. They've changed. I can't deal with this right now. I, you know, I mean, the kids are one thing, I get it, right? But you, uh, you need to step up, Aaron. Be, be responsible, make a plan. I had a plan, okay? The plan was to love my wife, to be a good father, okay? I didn't want to move out of New York. And then we come out here and your mother basically starts meddling in our whole relationship. All right, okay? Let's slow down, Aaron. I, 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 need, I need you to be calm. The boys need you stable, Aaron. I am stable. There's a giant house that's paid for that we can live in. It's never paid for. There's property taxes, maintenance, insurance. You need to be independent and stable on your own. Then stop saying shit that threatens my stability, Chris. You're not stable, Aaron. You have stable people around you. The boys are going to be looking to you to be their rock. I'm stable because I love Katie. And I'm stable because I love my kids. That's it. You, you need to step up, be responsible, make a plan. Give me a couple fucking days to formulate a plan. This just fucking happened. All I'm thinking about, my kids are gonna be raised without their mother, okay? They're gonna be absolutely, totally devastated by this. Okay, e easy Aaron, I, I get it. But you need to stop assuming things. I got a lot on my plate. I can't keep the house. And I need you to know that, and, and, and you need to figure out what to do. Who are you to tell me what to do? I'm the executor. I need to make decisions. Right? I can't take time off like you. Then don't, okay? Just go home. I'll take care of my kids. I'm fine. What are you going to live on? I have some money, I have some cash, credit cards. How much? Like three grand, and like maybe 10, 15 in credit, and you know, whatever income from the studio. What kind of cash flow are we talking about? Uh, maybe a, a thousand or two a month. <laughs> you wouldn't last three months. Uh, you're playing in a sandbox, Aaron. What about telling the boys? I'll tell the boys. They're my kids. I'll tell them. I have to tell them. I'll tell them. Alone? What do you suggest? Why don't we fly up there to the camp, pick them up? We'll tell them together. You, you tell them and I'll be there. I can't. Why not? I just can't. Why? I promised them, Chris, after they endured this stupid music camp that your mother insisted that they attend, that I would take them beach camping. It's the best camp in the country, Aaron. But they are five, Chris. Five years old, okay? I went. So did Katie. I don't care. They didn't want to go, okay? They're five. I'm just going to go and pick them up in the bus and take them beach camping like I promised. Beach camping in the bus? That, that It's 40 years old, okay? It might break down. It's cold up there. You're crazy. I have thermal blankets, okay? I have thermal sleeping bags for them. If it breaks down, I'll fix it, okay? I have AAA, relax. It's a bad idea. I, 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 I can't let you do it. You can't let me do it. Well, it's not your choice, Chris. They're my kids, okay? And I will tell my boys when and how I want to tell them. That's it. transfer ownership of my mother's brokerage account to, to my account, please. Okay, so I'll have the death certificate on your desk by Monday.
something came up and it... What? What is it? I was going through some paperwork and I found divorce papers. It seems Katie was planning on divorcing Aaron. No. Thought they were happy. Yeah, I, I just assumed, but the papers say otherwise. Well, what, what, what do they say? She says he was abusive. No. What do you mean, physically? Physically, emotionally. Really? Oh my God. I've only been here one night, but I gotta tell you, he drinks a lot. And she also claims he's, he's an unfit parent. Really? Turn that off, please. Of course. Oh, actually, that was kind of amazing. I was in my own little universe for a while. I kind of, you know, forgot about everything for a little while and just like, that was nice. You shouldn't drink so much. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to um, want to drink? Good night. Sure, in the van. It's a bus. All right, I'm sorry I was stressed out yesterday, but we can, uh, we, we can tell the boys together as a family. And then you can take them camping. You know, I sleep in the bus. Listen, Aaron, I could use a break as well. If there's any problems, I can get a rental car. You can drop me off at the airport, but we gotta talk about stuff. All right, the future. Okay, if you want to do it. Then we're on. Brothers on a road trip? Brothers in law. He agreed. I'm going. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What if he's an unfit parent? Maybe the lawyer has evidence. Okay, we'll find out. I'll see what I can do. You better. You can't handle more children, Chris. I can't handle more. Are you pregnant again? No. Oh. Look out the window, Allison. I'm talking to your father. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. Are you gonna take the 210? No, I'm gonna take the 134 to the 5. That takes longer. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Trust me, I grew up here. Oh, please don't do this the whole trip. What, you don't want me to navigate? No, I don't. <laughs> you get attention in this thing. Yeah, as they ride past you in the windows up in the ACR. That's how I roll. Welcome to the slow limit. What's the top speed on this baby? It's much rattling, 75. You got Bluetooth? Yeah, but I only listen to CDs. Who, who has CDs anymore? I do. I have 3,000 CDs in my collection. 5,000 pieces of fun. I got inputs. I got Dylan, Willie Nelson. You heard of the Band of Horses? I know their producer, Phil. Neil toured with them. Neil? Young. And those crooks at Streamify should be put in handcuffs and marched off to jail. That's a little extreme. No. No, it's not. We used to have heroes, musicians. They were like gods to us. Remember what it was like when you were a kid and like a new record came out? Led Zeppelin, Marvin Gaye. Earth, Wind & Fire. You like Earth, Wind & Fire? Oh yeah. 
Shining star for you to see. What your life can truly be. Shining star. See, you like that one? Think about it. Musicians, right? They railed against the man, and we let the man. I'm not the 1950s man, but the new man. The these computer geeks who own and control everything. We let them destroy our heroes. They're heroes too, probably. I mean, we'll pay five bucks every single day for a cup of coffee, ten for a cocktail. Twenty in New York. Yeah, but the music is free now. You don't have to take it so personal. It, it's, it is personal to me. It's my that's my life. I I make records. I mean, what if nobody paid you to do what you do? Then I'd do something else. What if you already learned how to do what you love doing, and then suddenly no one's going to pay you for it anymore? I don't love what I do. I understand. I, I need the money. That's why I do it. So it just doesn't matter to you what you do. What matters is I got a family and kids. I got a mortgage and an ex-wife, and I and I don't have a choice. Did you hear the one about uh, why did the artist cross the road? To paint the chicken. No, to see it from the other side. Of course, once you're over there, you're alone, separated from everybody. And you have no money. Yeah. and put in some gas. <sighs> Fuck me. Lauren Kinney, please. This is Lauren. Lauren, hi. Uh, this is Chris Ryan, Katie Ryan's brother. How can I help you? Lauren Kinney, please. You haven't heard. This is Lauren. Lauren, hi. Uh, this is Chris Ryan, Katie Ryan's brother. Hi. How can I help you? Yeah, thanks. Listen, Lauren, the reason I'm calling is I came across Katie's divorce papers and I have some questions. Of course. Yeah. Well, Thanks. I've been through my own divorce Listen, Lauren, and I understand you prepared the documents. I came across Katie's divorce papers. Then what happened? Well, it was and up to Katie I have some if she questions. wanted to file or not. Well, what do you mean if? Katie wasn't 100%. And I understand From what I read, he was mistreating her. There tends to be a lot of hyperbole and situations with issues of custody and money. What do you mean, yeah? Actually, it was your mother said. who contacted me initially. She believed that Katie needed help. California is no fault, so it's an even split, except for in cases of abuse. So, did he abuse her? No, it, those kinds of cases are pretty cut and dry. This was more of um, an emotional gray area. But none of that seems to matter at this point. Well, it matters to me. Katie's my sister and Aaron's my brother-in-law and I'm the twin's uncle. Well, if you ask me, he dodged a bullet. Right. So obviously this is not going ahead. Is there any balance owed back to us on the retainer? Oh no, that was all used in preparing the initial filings. Why doesn't that surprise me? How'd it go? Fine, I guess. Hard to say for now. 
Why is that? I'm dealing with lawyers and they seem to have their own language and I, I don't know, I, I don't speak scumbag that well. Really? I thought you were fluent in scumbag. Ha ha ha, very funny. I'm sending this postcard to the boys, do you want to say anything? Tell them Uncle Chris is bringing the noogies. Oh, they'll love that. Where to now? Now, we go to the beach. Right up there. Looks nice. Why, why are we getting back on the freeway? We're only going one exit. What's this place called again? Pismo Beach. Yeah, Pismo. Bug Buddy came here with Dad. Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat, right? I wouldn't eat the clams. Why not? It's illegal for one, and not a good idea to eat shellfish in a month without the letter R in it. You're despicable. So where's our hotel? No hotel. I reserved a campsite. Where am I gonna sleep? Up top in the pop top. I'm on the bottom. You like the bottom? Funny. I'm gonna get my wetsuit on and go for a swim. I think I'll just take this in and make some more calls. You and your phone calls. Chris Ryan. Who am I speaking to? Chris Berg. Hey, um, hi Berg, are you the owner? Yes, I am. Listen, nah, I was in there the other day looking at the Jaguar. Oh, the one that got totaled? Yeah, right, that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Listen, Berg, I need some help checking something out. Yeah, and I'd, I'd pay $500 if you could help me. Go on. I'd appreciate if you could keep this strictly between you and I, okay? Took you so long. I was about to call the Coast Guard. It's so beautiful out there. Ah, oh, come on, man, an hour and a half? I just love the ocean. Water's good for me. I need to eat. Can I have a beer first? Relax a minute? I'm sorry. There's a, I got sucked into Facebook and I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. There's a citronella candle in the cooler, an insect repellent in the glove box. And you're telling me now? Well, now you know. Ten minutes. I'm timing you. Hope we can find some place open. Sorry. What do you feel like? Eating, food, anything. Well, we can try to shut these. It's Italian. They have fish soup. Tropino, it's amazing. Or Ventana, that's out by the pier. We'd have to drive there. It's Mexican, it's a little more No. Let's eat here. fall to pieces. I just need to eat something. I, at this point, I don't care where. Easy. We'll find something. Where? You think this qualifies in terms of, you know, actually having food? A Twinkie is sounded good about now. Let me get two nice cuts of your New York strip. Hold on, please. Box of Merlo? You're a real class actor. Well, it's cheap and travels. You know I've eaten steak in some of the finest restaurants in the world. Michelin five star, baby, five star.
when you put the steak on a cast iron skillet, it needs to be really hot. Olive oil burns, so I use grapeseed oil. First, I salt and pepper both sides liberally. Does that mean you hold out your hand when you do it? Pardon me, uh, could you help a fellow camper with a car screw problem? The road, Mac. Thank you. Bring it back. I can open it here. Go ahead. Where was I? Salt, salting and pepper. All right, salt and pepper. I love salt and pepper. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and all the bad things. Get that open? Yeah, I did. Thank you. I guess you don't need the cork. You're gonna have the whole bottle. Here. Okay, last step. Take out the vegetables, set the beets, and add the beans. And we're done. Mm, how is it? It's fucking good. I love the, the beets and the mushrooms and roasted tomatoes together with the crispy garlic. Thanks. I love cooking. And actually eating outside. Mm. Boys love it too. This is good, Aaron. Delicious. Thank you. You sure you want some wine? All right, fine. I'll take a glass. I mean, a, a tin cup. You know, they age this wine in supermarkets on the shelves in cardboard. Wow. Yeah. I can taste the, um, the, l the linoleum. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it does the job, doesn't it? <laughs> Salud. Burned carbon. I love them like this. What you drinking? Whiskey flavored with honey. Yeah. Katie loves this stuff. Did you see the photos on Facebook when we drove the boys up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. Cheers. Wow, that's amazing. Be careful. Mm. Just feels like Katie should be here with us. Our, our last conversation was a fight. I had no idea you guys were having problems. Katie and I never really talked. Birthdays, holidays, you know. I was too busy. Kids, wife, work. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to call someone. I can't wait, I'll call her in the morning. You should see this woman I'm working with. You should have said to her, I love you. Even when we weren't getting along, I love you, no matter what. You could just be really hard to live with. And so can I. And the thing I'm most afraid of is how I'm going to tell the boys. Like, I don't want to give them this. I want to give them a perfect life, not this. Usually I don't mind being alone, but it's good to have you here. Nice. You got lyrics? Not yet. But maybe this trip will inspire some.